this is Annette Manis with Oasis Solutions. Thank you so much for joining us today for our review of Sage 100. Again, this is a short introduction to Sage 100. And if you would like to see more information about the different modules, please visit our YouTube channel to find those videos. This is the main screen of Sage 100. And you'll notice on the left-hand side, I have favorites. And you'll see that I have segregated them by the type of work that's being done. So you would set up each of your uh, users with their different workflows that they do for the day. It makes it easy for them. Then I also have some things here called cool things, which I'm going to come back to in a few minutes. So on while we're looking at the left-hand side, I also have at the bottom web content where I can put my favorite websites and things on there. Here's one for Oasis support. Uh, so that can be any websites that you want. You can uh, put here under web content. On the right-hand side is our uh, dashboard. And you'll see I've put some uh, just sales and top customers receivables. Uh, if I scroll down top inventory items and sales by product line. So there's lots of different things that you can put on this dashboard uh, and it can be user specific. So while I'm on this dashboard, I can also drill down into some of this data. So if I look at top customers and I said, wow, I didn't know American Business Solutions did that much business with us this month, I can click on that and it's going to drill me down into that record for American Business Computers and open up that record so I can see all their information about their customer, what invoices they have open and any orders and things like that. Again, this will be covered in another uh, session that we do. Also on the dashboard, I can look at an information center that tells me a little bit about the Sage product and uh, Sage City here. I can converse with other users of the product, uh, send information, ideas to directly to Sage. And then also there's some what's new and resources and some feature tours here as well. Uh, to get your uh, your team up to speed on the software after training. I want to go to the top bar here. Uh, I can change companies. So in Sage 100, you can have as many companies as you want to set up in the system. We have a lot of customers that will do a copy of their company. And very easy, just a click of a button. Um, to try out maybe a new process, uh, things like that. So that be very easy to do, and, and, and there's no additional charge for those additional companies. I can also change users from here. I don't have to log in or log out if I want to change users. Um, Master Console, I can see who's in the system and what they're doing. And then over here to the right, a couple of different Sage products that interface directly with Sage 100, Sage Fixed Assets, Sage CRM, and then Sage Payment Center, which is the credit card processing for Sage 100. And one of the features that I really like about Sage 100 is the help. So gone are the days where you had books that you could open up and see, how do I do this? This help is really helpful. And then I can go in and I can say, how do I avoid an accounts payable check? And it's going to tell me step by step how to do that. So very, very helpful that you'll see that help on the bottom of every screen as well to the bottom of the right. Um, and you, you'll be able to see what, uh, what each of the things on that screen are and what they do, what's their purpose. So very, very good uh, help here. So if I move back over to my left a little bit, I'm going to go over to these things that I called cool things. Um, first thing is journal and register viewer. So this is, um, you can do paperless journals and registers. So they, when you do a journal or a register, it will send it to PDF and send it straight to this viewer and you can call that up at any time. So let's say you're doing your year-end taxes and your CPA says, oh, there was a journal back in June uh, that I'd like to look at. And well, instead of digging through your boxes of, of things, you can go straight here to the viewer within Sage 100 and pull up that PDF, print it, send it to them, whatever you want to with the PDF. Um, and that information stays there as long as you want it to. There's also an option to do custom office. Now, I think, it, to me, this is one of the really nice features of Sage 100 that's built in. 
so I can add things to the screen. I can take things away. I can customize the screen by user. A lot of different flexibility. So we have a customer that we just did some work for and did uh, extensive customizer um, uh, information on their screens. So they wanted, for one team, when they logged into customers, they saw this information. And another team, when they logged into customers, they saw different information. So we were able to use Custom Office to achieve that very, very powerful tool. Also, Positive Pay is built in. So Positive Pay is uh, for fraud, fraud prevention. And uh, so if I send check number 1 through 20 to the bank, and under this positive pay, and then someone tries to cash check number 21, it won't allow it because it's not on that list that I sent them. It, this has been really powerful for uh, our customers uh, with fraud prevention. And also you have uh, Sage Fixed Assets and Sage uh, CRM for your salespeople. There's also a, a product that's built in called Sage Intelligence Reporting. And this tool allows you to slice and dice financial data, also customer, vendor data, lots of different information in the system. So it's very much like a, like a BI or a business intelligence tool built into the system. Very, very powerful. You can also do visual process flows, which would change the look of the navigation. So you see my navigation the way it looks here the business process flows, make it look a little bit more like a process flow. And again, uh, we have other videos on each of, these, uh, each of these sections. Also, I wanted to point out the integration between Office 365 and Sage 100, very powerful as well. Uh, you can email, of course, out of Sage 100, uh, invoices, statements, PO, sales orders, and then send a uh, remittance or a message to the, the customer or the vendor uh, with that. You also have an Office 365 integration. So if I'm in my Office 365 uh, email, I can see information about the customer. So let's say I had Anna Smith in my email and, and she is linked to a contact in, our, in my customer in Sage 100, it'll pull up on the right-hand side that customer that I can see. And then I can drill down and go into that customer in Sage 100. That's just one example, but there's a lot of different ways that you can use Office 365 uh, with Sage 100. So those are just a few of the, of the features that, that I really like. Very powerful system, uh, been around, uh, which means that it has a lot of features built into it. And we touch on those different features with the different videos that we do on the, on the module. So check us out, look at some other videos, and hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for joining us today.